Our top story this evening, the launch failed, but the message was very clear. North Korea's leader Kim Jong-un showed the US and its allies that he's willing to ignore their warnings and carry on conducting provocations regardless. The missile fired before the break of dawn on Saturday morning broke up in flight minutes after launch. The provocation further raises tensions in the region with the US, South Korea and Japan condemning Pyongyang. Hwang Ojun starts us off. North Korea launched another missile early Saturday morning, making it the regime's third successive yet unsuccessful missile test since April. According to South Korea's Joint Chiefs of Staff, the missile launch took place near Pukchang in Pyongyangnam-do province, just north of Pyongyang at 5.30 a.m. South Korea time. The South Korean military labeled the test a failure as a missile initially flew in a northeasterly direction, reached an altitude of 71 kilometers, and exploded in the air minutes after the launch the pieces falling into the East Sea. The U.S. Pacific Command also confirmed the missile did not leave North Korean territory and did not pose a threat to North America. The Allies say they are analyzing additional information, but there's speculation the missile might have been a KN-15 intermediate range ballistic missile, which Pyongyang calls the Pukguk Sung-2. A U.S. official who asked not to be named said the missile could have also been a medium-range ballistic missile called a KN-17, a new Scud-type missile developed by North Korea. The launch comes amid heightening tensions in the region as the U.S. docked a nuclear-powered submarine in South Korea, deployed a U.S. naval strike group led by the USS Carl Vinson aircraft carrier to the area, and staged large military drills with South Korea and Japan. Seoul's foreign ministry has strongly condemned North Korea, saying the missile launch was a clear violation of UN resolutions, a grave threat to regional peace and security. This was a frontal attack to the international community's resolution to denuclearize the Korean Peninsula, which displayed the belligerence and imprudence of Pyongyang. U.S. President Donald Trump also reprimanded the missile launch through Twitter, describing it as North Korea disrespecting China and its president Xi Jinping. Japan also denounced the launch as absolutely unacceptable and a violation of UN resolutions. There was no immediate reaction from China. The launch is North Korea's 50th known round of ballistic missile firing since Kim Jong-un took power in late 2011. Hwang Wo-jun, Arirang News.